Hi, today we're talking Mike Zek. I'm going to be covering the 22 best covers by Mike Zek. I'm Foxy Sellers, so if you would, please click the like, subscribe below. You'll be keyed into videos similar to this and also helps out the channel. Feel free to comment. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a couple of honorable mentions. I couldn't quite fit these in, but I do like these covers. I'll start off with Deathstroke, The Terminator, number six. It's just got an iconic image of Deathstroke on the cover. G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 28. I just love the image. It's just, it's just got that perspective that is from almost exactly directly above um, coming in. Uh, G.I. Joe number 52, which is, you know, I love any of the covers that have Storm Shadow on it. And this is a great one where he's fighting. G.I. Joe number 34, which is another one of those dog fights that's an air battle. And then Deathstroke number seven, which is the follow up to number six, of course. And that's just got an iconic image of him battling Batman. Um, and then the last one that I, I, I will mention, and I want to include this one because I, th I, I believe this is the very first cover that he ever did, which was The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 56. It didn't quite make the list because just overall it wasn't as good as some of the other ones, but being his first cover, I, I, I was drawn to it. I found it a pretty, I found it to be, you know, a pretty amazing cover. Um, it's simple, it's not much to it. Okay, so let's get started with the top 22. Number 22 is G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 37. I believe this is the first appearance of Flint. It may even be the first appearance of the Crimson Guard. I'm not sure if they showed up in an issue before this, but the, this is their first cover appearance. And I just like the perspective of it. It's kind of from above. You're, you're, you're kind of getting the the perspective of, of Flint attacking one of, the, one of the Crimson Guards. I'm not sure which one it is. Number 21 is Batman 417. This is part one of that series that Jim Starlin has written. Uh, this this is the the iconic image of Batman on it. Uh, number twenty is Silver Surfer Black. Number one, this is a variant cover. He never really did a lot of uh, Silver Surfer, but um, Silver Surfer being my favorite character, I wanted to try to find a way to work this one in, and it was a cool cover, so it it made the list. Number nineteen is GI Joe thirty eight. This has probably the best image of Destro that I've seen yet. Um, I, I do love this cover. Plus, it's got Storm Shadow, of course, you know? Uh, number 18 is the New Defenders 126. It's just, a, I think, a cool image of, of multiple characters all coming together. Number 17 is G.I. Joe 46. Uh, this is the, I guess, the joining of Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. It's a cool cover. You immediately know what you're getting yourself into if you saw this on the rack. Number 16 is Batman 418. This is the follow-up to the one that was on here earlier. Uh, this is part two of that Starlin series. And this one has just, I, th I think, an even better cover than the one before it. That's why it's higher on the list. Number 15 is Masters of Kung Fu 101. Now, when I was going through a lot of the Mike Zek covers, I came across the Masters of Kung Fu and started to look through those, and I saw a lot of really cool covers, um, but they just missed, like, you know, they, I could have put one or two of them in the honorable mentions. Um, this one was just the best of them, so I put this appropriately at number 15. Number 14 is is a reprint. I, I, I don't love doing a lot of reprints on, on these lists um, because this is a, a reenactment of somebody else's image, um, but... Mike Zek did this much better than the original. This is Marvel Tales number 216. And this is the, the iconic image of when, when Spider-Man and, and the Punisher team up to go against the Hitman when he kidnaps Jonah Jameson. Number 13 is Captain America 276. This is a, just a really great image. Number 12 is Punisher number three. Number 11 is X-Factor number two. Uh, I believe he did this with Bob Layton. Bob Layton did a lot of the covers and the interiors for those early X Factor books. This one just, I just liked this one. I, I don't even know who this character is. Uh, I think it was like Earthquake or some some weird character like that. No, no, no. Oh, it was The Tower. I think his name is The Tower. Number 10 is going to be G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, number 24. Uh, I think this might be the first appearance of Zartan or right before the first appearance of Zartan, but... Storm Shadow is helping Cobra Commander escape. 
it's just a really cool it's it's just a really cool grouping of all these characters and the action that's captured from it. Number nine is gonna be Secret Wars number 10. Now this is that iconic image of Doctor Doom as he in, in battle mode, like he's just completely torn apart, but he's he looks like he's in he has enhanced power at this point. Number eight is gonna be the new defenders number 127. This is the one right after that. Uh, this has that image of Angel. And the thing with Angel is I always felt like Angel was this very vulnerable character. I mean, he's really like, yeah, he's a mutant and, and he has wings, but th that's it. Like he has no real superpowers except that he's crazy, crazy rich. So he can he can be killed. He can be shot in the head. He can he, and later on in it, like that that series where they where they tore his wings off. I think it happened in Thor and then carried over into the X Factor. I was really drawn to that storyline because it it emphasized the 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 vulnerability of this character. And then you know then he goes on naturally to uh, get the enhancement by Apocalypse and and become one of the the four horsemen of Apocalypse. Uh, just a really cool storyline. This this isn't related to that, but this emphasizes the fact that he is a vulnerable character. Number seven is Captain America 321. This is not your typical image of Captain America because he's holding an Uzi, of course. And w w I can't remember the last time I ever saw him with a gun. So this, and, and by the way, Mike Zek, he nails guns. I mean, the guy can draw guns. So th this is just a really cool image. Number six is going to be Amazing Spider-Man 294. This is of of the the Craven's Last Hunt images. This one's the most iconic. It is really cool. Number five is going to be Secret Wars. Number one. This is the one that kind of started it all. He's got really great images of every one of the iconic characters from Marvel Comics. Number four. This one. This one. I just came across it. I, I found it to be a really interesting cover. When it when it, when it comes to comics, I mean, this is, comics are what taught me how to how to write, how to draw. I used to copy images from covers. I used to trace images from covers. I tried. I, I sometimes try to reenact or, or maybe like, oh, how would I do it? And if I saw this issue as a kid, I would have tried to redraw this instantly. I would have immediately been been you know smitten with this. This is Ghostly Tales number one twenty four. Number three is GI Joe thirty three. This one is high up on the list because of the the you're really kind of led in on what's going on in the story a little bit. It shows you a you know a precarious predicament that the Cobra Commander is in. I mean he he's he's point blank going to be shot, assassinated. How's he going to get out of this? Again, there, there's there's Storm Shadow in the image. I believe this is when they introduced uh, Cobra Commander's son, who's the one that's attempting to kill him. I just gave it all away. Number two is going to be that iconic image of the Punisher from Punisher number one, the limited series. I had this poster in my room as a kid. I mean, it's, it's just probably, it's probably one of the most important images of the Punisher throughout all the comics. And number one is Captain America annual number eight. This is the image of the Wolverine versus Captain America. I don't believe they fought very often, so this is you know an interesting take on these two good guys battling it out. There you have it. That one's that one's my favorite image of all of them. I had this poster in my room as a kid. I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end. I'm Foxy Sellers. If you would click the like, click the subscribe. You'll be keyed into videos just like this. You'll also help out my channel. And thanks again.